Hi, in today's video from HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com, I'm going to show you how to fix a common problem on Mercedes-Benz C-Class vehicles. Built between the years of 1997 and 2000, this vehicle has developed a leak on the automatic transmission wiring harness connector. There are two ways to repair this issue. The first option requires removing the transmission pan, then draining the transmission oil. The transmission fluid on this vehicle was recently changed, so in this video there's no need for us to change that. So we're going to show you how it can be done without actually draining all of the fluid. Even though we're not draining the transmission fluid, we're going to need an extra quart just in case we lose any when we remove the connector. This is what the connector looks like. Take note that this vehicle does not have a dipstick, so you're going to need to purchase one. Here is the part number. To remove the dipstick plug, you're going to have to break the plastic clip, so you're going to need to purchase the plastic clip ahead of time. A couple safety features. Make sure your car is in park, and then set your emergency brake. If you have wheel chucks or blocks, put them behind the rear tires for added safety. Next, lift the front end of the vehicle with a floor jack and place a jack stand under each control arm for safety. And disconnect your negative battery cable. It's a good idea to wear safety glasses while you're working under the vehicle to help protect your eyes. As you can tell, there is a leak. It's coming from the plug, which is located right here on the passenger side. The first step is to remove the metal cover using a T30 socket and ratchet. Once the bolt is removed, go ahead and pull down on the metal shield to remove it. I cleaned up some, some of the grease here so you could see a little better. Now I'm going to just pry the dust cover cap off. Place a drain pan underneath the plug just in case any fluids come out. and. If you don't want to get your hands greasy, put on rubber gloves, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to loosen the connector here with a screwdriver to help pry it loose because it's on tight. And then finish it off with my hand here, turning it counterclockwise. As you can see, as you pull this tab to this position, the inside of the connector moves out, so go ahead and just fully pull it out. Go ahead and wipe it down with, your, with a towel. The part that we are replacing is right here. Now there's a screw in the center that we're going to have to remove. To loosen the screw, use a 7 millimeter socket and ratchet. Take note that the, the bolt does not come out, you're just going to have to loosen it. So once you've loosened it, then go ahead and pull the connector out. The next step is to remove the o-ring. Next, clean the cavity with a clean shop towel. Clean the cavity with the rag until all the transmission fluid is gone. Using compressed air, clean the inside of the connector here.
Next, slide the new O-ring over the connector. Next, lubricate both of the O-rings with some new transmission fluid. Before you install the connector, make sure that it's locked and snapped in place, just like that, and snap right in place, right next to each other. When installing the new connector, make sure the pins go right in place. So that means you have to line them up correctly. Now when we took it out, this tab was about right here. So I'm going to put the new one in, in about that place. We have to be careful not to damage or bend the pins. If you look inside, you can see that the pins are aligned. It is properly installed and aligned. Tighten your bolt with the nut driver. This, this ring here does not come with the new connector um, because it's not needed because there's no oil. So go ahead and clean this off and then you're good to install it. And just lock it back in place going clockwise this time and it should be flush. It's probably hard to see but there's an old zip tie. I'm going to cut that off and remove it. Make sure and clean the dust cover off and then go ahead and install it back on. And then zip tie it back on. Next install the show back on and then lower the car and now we're going to move on to the dipstick. This is the tab that you're going to have to break to be able to remove the dipstick plug. Next start your car and let it run until it reaches operating temperature. Remove the plug. While the vehicle is running insert the Mercedes-Benz dipstick to check the fluid level. With the engine running and the transmission fluid at 80 degrees, it should fall in between these two marks. Now you know how to repair the common problem on the Mercedes-Benz C-Class models from 1997 to 2000. Make sure and subscribe to our channel as we upload videos every week. Thanks for watching. It's a good idea to wear safety glasses while you're working under the car to help your eyes. <laughs> Thanks for what?